my name is Carlin and I work at the Wetlands Center. I'm here to tell you guys about some adaptations. So an adaptation is a unique structure, a part of the animal's body, or a behavior, the way that the animal acts, that helps an organism to survive in the wild. So adaptations are passed down, they're inherited from the parents to the offspring. So to demonstrate some adaptations, I'm gonna introduce you guys to my friend, the American alligator. He's just a baby, so he's not, that big, but it's still a really good way to demonstrate the adaptations that he has. So first of all, he has a lot of camouflage. He is camouflaged. Right now he's just a little baby, so he has these stripes on him. The stripes help him blend in with the grasses, and as he gets older, they're gonna stay like a brown color to help him blend in with the swampy, marshy areas that they live in. Another structural adaptation that they have is their big tail. Their tail is one large muscle that helps him to swim. It is very, very powerful and very, very muscular. Another structural adaptation that they have, their nostrils and their eyes are on the tops of their heads. So that helps them sit up out of the water to where they can hide from prey really easily, but they can still see and they can still breathe. Another structural adaptation is their third eyelid called a nictitating membrane. That's a cool one. The nictitating membrane helps them to dive and to eat while protecting their eyes. It is a third eyelid. Another structural adaptation is their very, very powerful jaws and their teeth. You can barely see his little teethies right here, but they're very powerful even if he's just a baby. And as they get older, it's really gonna help them out in the wild. Now one more structural adaptation on the alligator is their webbed feet. This helps them swim in the water and it helps them burrow. So that brings me to their behavioral adaptations, the different ways that these alligators act in the wild to help them survive. Um, one unique structural, I mean behavioral adaptation that they have is they are cathemeral. That means that they are awake in the day or the night rather than nocturnal awake at night or diurnal awake during the day. They do both. Um, this helps them to catch prey and you know live their alligator lives. Um, another behavioral adaptation that they have is they are behavioral thermoregulators. That's a really cool word. That means that they have different behaviors that they do to regulate their body heat because they're reptiles. So one way that they do that is in the winter time they burrow underwater in alligator dens and they also like to bask on sunny banks with other alligator friends although a lot of males are solitary but they like to bask and they often bask with other alligators. That is another behavioral adaptation that they have. Another behavioral adaptation that goes along with their big, thick, muscular tail is that they can swat prey or defend themselves with their tails. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that noise that he's making. You hear it? Well, now he's not gonna do it, but he's chirping. You guys can probably hear it throughout the video. He is making that noise just as a sign of danger, just a, a little alert, like something's happening to me right now, for to alert their mothers usually in the wild, but right now he doesn't have a mother here, so he's just talking. And that's okay, he's not in danger, he's just a little baby. He's getting used to everything right now. So those are some of his adaptations. An one more time, the adaptations are unique structures or behaviors that help an organism to survive. These adaptations are inherited from the parents to the offsprings. Well, thank you guys, and say bye-bye, alligator. Bye.